So I'm not gonna look crazy anymore, guys. I'm gonna look like a human being. Darcy. Ooh, she got a braid today. Hey guys, what's up? It's your favorite, bald headed. Back at it again with another video. I've got something really special for you guys today because as far as I know, this is the only brand and product of its kind. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a K-beauty brand that is owned by black people. I know, right? What? Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Dr. Geo Cosmetics. So I picked up a bunch of their cushions. I'm gonna try them all today. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a long time, you would know that I used to do a lot of Korean beauty reviews, but I very rarely did foundation reviews because most Korean beauty brands don't have darker shades, at least not dark enough to fit me. And I know what you're thinking. Well, why would they? Koreans have light skin. Wrong. I mean, sure, relatively speaking, yes. But even the Korean beauty brands that operated in the US and Canada still didn't have shades for me. Like you're, he you're here though. Who are you selling to? A lot of Korean beauty brands would come over to the United States and Canada and still be selling only the same three to five maximum shades. Absolutely nowhere near my skin tone, which always made very little sense to me if they wanted to compete with American and European brands. And if you just wanted to cater to the Korean people who are living here, that's fair, but a terrible business move because Koreans make up about 1% of the population in my city. So I, it seems like a bad business move to me. I don't know. And even in Korea, there are darker skin Koreans, at least darker than the three shades provided. I want you guys to understand that Korean beauty brands are not catering towards the Korean general public. They're promoting the Korean beauty standard. And just like here, the general Korean public does not fit the beauty standard. So that's why they got K-pop stars looking like this. What is this? What is happening here? Sometimes I like to compare it to what happened to Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret would sell this image of the beauty standard to the general public, and that worked for a while, but eventually people wanted inclusivity. Most people do not look like Victoria's Secret models. Victoria's Secret was just trying to perpetuate the beauty standard in order to make money, similar to how Korean beauty brands are also only selling light shades to perpetuate the beauty standard in Korea. Then eventually people got tired of it and they wanted inclusivity but Victoria's Secret refused to change so Savage X Fancy came along with their inclusivity and absolutely destroyed them so whenever people come up with the argument oh well they are catering to Koreans they're actually not they're actually not catering to Koreans because Koreans don't actually look like the beauty standard that they're trying to push on them just like how Victoria's Secret was not catering toward Americans so Savage X Fenty decided to and while some K beauty brands have extended their shades over the last few years it's mostly the high-end luxury brands that you can only find in department stores so seeing the hole in the market the owner of Dr. Geo decided to create her own brand within Korea. Obviously, as a black woman living in Korea, it was almost impossible to find her foundation shade. So why not just make your own, right? So this is the Dr. Geo Cushion. It comes in six shades, which is not a lot, but keep in mind that this is a new brand and obviously they don't have the money and power that brands like Fenty Beauty have in order to make like 50 shades at once. So currently they only have six shades and every single shade is catered to people with tan to dark skin tone they don't have any light shades. All right, so on the website, it says that it has seven nourishing ingredients. All right, so it's got skincare. It also has SPF 50, and it's supposed to be a natural coverage. I figured most cushions are a natural coverage. They also have a shade finder on the website, so if you're not sure exactly what shade you are, you can take their little quiz and they can estimate which one is right for your skin tone. But I feel like I'm probably gonna have to mix some. So I did buy more than one shade, I bought four shades, and hopefully they work. I'm really tan right now, so I literally don't know what my color is. All right, enough babbling, let me try this. All right, so this first color is the color DG. <gasps> hey, those are my initials. It's like it's made for me. DG03 Ella. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty light in the pan. So this might be like my winter shade. This one looks closer to my current skin tone, but we'll see. This one might be a little bit too dark. I don't know. I don't know until I try it on. And I also got the darkest shade, even though I knew it wouldn't fit me. I just always like to pick up the darkest shade just to see how dark it is. And it gives you guys a reference too. So this is the darkest shade. This is what the four shades look like. I think that these two are gonna work. Maybe this one. 
This one seems a little bit too dark, and this one's way too light. So I'm going to use this one as my base, and if needed, I can use any one of the other ones. I'm gonna use the puff, and I like the shape of it already. I like when puffs have the little tip at the top like that, so you can like get it into corners and stuff. Okay, so I'm taking DG04 Fun Me, or Fun Me, I don't know how to pronounce that. Also smells really good. Oh, I can smell the SPF. It is in there, okay? We are protected from the sun today. So they actually did recommend that you do use multiple shades just because no one's face is one color, right? So like the inside of my face is always much lighter than the outside perimeter. And if you make your face one color, it just looks really flat. Like I don't wanna look like an egghead, like a brown egg. Anyways, the coverage on this is light. Yes, it looks very natural, very, very natural. It's really just evening everything out. And it retails for $35, which I feel like is a Pretty good price. If you wanna buy multiple shades, you can. Normally, I just use a foundation or a cushion and then in order to make my face not look so flat, I'll put on concealer, contour, whatever. But the brand does say that you can mix colors in order to create that effect. So I'm gonna try that today. So I'm gonna take the shade Ella and I'm gonna use my fingers just to get really precise. Cause I don't wanna put too much. Apply it like how I would my concealer, because it's pretty light, but it's a natural coverage, so it shouldn't be too bad. As usual, I'm gonna let this sit for just a second while I do my eyebrows. I'm getting my eyebrows done. That's right, finally, the saga has a happy ending. After almost a year of not getting my eyebrows done, I'm finally getting them done. I'm not gonna look crazy anymore, guys. I'm gonna look like a human being. So if my eyebrows look particularly ferocious today, it's because I'm not touching them until I get my eyebrows done, which is gonna be in like five days. So I'm just letting it grow, you know? The unibrow's coming in, uh, we're not stopping it. I am not touching these things until they are touched by a professional. All right, so just ever so softly filling in our eyebrows. We want a very soft, gentle look today. Very soft. Then we're going to go over that with some brow gel. I can't wait to get my little brow back. I, can't, I just can't wait, guys. Okay, let's blend this out because I feel like it's sinking into my skin or something. I don't know what's going on. That's actually really pretty. The finish is absolutely stunning, stunning. I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder because you know, you guys know I have to, I have to. Just a little dusting of powder underneath the eyes and then my nose because my nose likes to play games with me, you guys know that. This bitch likes to play games. Wow, that is stunning, stunning. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to grab the darker shade, so the one right after, I think it's number five. Yeah, the, the not the darkest shade, but the one right before that. Right, so I'm gonna cra crab, I'm gonna crab. I'm gonna grab the color BC. I'm kind of wary of this because this one in particular seems kind of watery. I don't wanna put too much. This actually seems too light. Hold on. We're gonna use a darker shade. This might be a terrible mistake, but we're gonna do it. It's probably gonna be fine. It's light coverage. It's gonna be fine. Just use a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. We're fine. Okay, so I'm using the darkest shade. Am I crazy? I just want a little bit more definition in the cheeks. You know what I'm talking about? I feel like that's totally acceptable. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. I'm just gonna put some on the forehead there. Why am I whispering? It's a secret. We're contouring in secret. Okay, this is freaking what the hell. Excuse me, I was not expecting to be this impressed. I was not. I was gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be whack. I literally thought that. I was like, eh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. I feel like it's because I haven't been impressed by foundations lately. Oh my, can you focus? I feel like it's because I haven't been impressed by foundations lately. Oh, I look like an African goddess right now. Who even am I? West African princess, the fuck? Okay. 
So, I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup now. I'm gonna start with some eyeshadow. We're gonna use this palette from 3CE, the Dry Rose Bouquet palette that I always use. I'm literally just gonna use one shade, guys. Just this one right here. This little baby. I'm telling y'all, we're going oh natural today. Oh natural. Guys, my seasonal allergies are killing me. Oh my god. I love makeup looks where it's just one eyeshadow shade. Eyeshadow shade. Eyeshadow shade. Eyeshadow shade. Eyeshadow shade. Am I drunk right now? It is 8 a.m. We're not gonna put on any lashes today, so I'm going to take, what is this called? The Their Real Magnet from Benefit. This is supposed to make your lashes longer and more luscious. For blush, I'm gonna use Cabbage Rose from 3CE. In case you haven't noticed, I'm using all cream products just to make everything blend together. Then for lips, I'm gonna line them with my brown liner. If you guys are ever curious about what I'm using on my face, it's all linked down below. All right, so this is today's look. I'm gonna be wearing this all day today. So it's currently 9.30. I'm gonna be wearing this all day, doing my regular stuff, eating, working out, editing. And then I'm gonna come back to you guys later on and see how this holds up. I'm trying to see if it says anything on here about long lasting. Ah, here we go. All new type of functional foundation and concealer with a light texture that provides a 48 hour long lasting effect. 48 hours? Why you got your makeup off for two days, girl? Or do they just mean... No, what does that mean? I don't know what that means, but it says that it provides a 48 hour long lasting effect with extremely high coverage and matte finish while moisturizing and protecting your skin. That is what it says on the back of the package. I don't know what that means, 48, 48 hours. Okay, we'll see about that. I'm not gonna put it on for 48 hours because I have white sheets. I'm not sleeping with this on. But if it's claiming 48 hour long lasting effect, then it should be fine when I come back to see you guys in like eight hours. All right, so I'm gonna come back in my standard eight to nine hour window that I always do for these reviews and we'll see how it holds up. Just to remind you guys, I put a little bit of powder under my eyes and on my nose and like around this area, but not a lot, just a little bit. Um, so we'll see how it holds up. Uh, I will see you guys in eight to nine hours. It has been eight hours since I last saw you guys. Do I look different? Here is proof that it has been eight hours. So let's talk about the pros and cons that are going on here. I feel like my face looks exactly the same. I don't think I got like any more oily, especially around my nose, because no, my nose, my problem area. So I don't think I got any more oily or dry or anything. It looks the same to me. Let me zoom in. Does it look the same to you guys? Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to believe the 48 hour claim. Like normally when I do these eight hour comparisons, um, I look different. I always look different. I always look more oily. I look exactly the same. If I go back to the footage after filming this and see that I don't look exactly the same, I'm gonna be so mad. It feels like I'm not wearing anything. It is a very natural finish, but it's still doing some coverage, you know? I look like I'm wearing makeup, but I also look like I'm not wearing makeup. It's trippy. I love that the product includes a lot of skincare stuff because you guys know I love my skincare. So I love that I can have SPF and all of these nourishing ingredients included in my foundation. I love it when they do that. That is why people want cushions so much because cushions have all of that added stuff in it that other foundations just don't. So it's really great that this company is making specifically cushion foundations for people of darker skin tones. Now, the cons. Obviously, as you guys can see, not the perfect shade. Now, to be fair, my face is currently, even when I take my makeup off, darker than my body. Whenever I get a tan, my face always tans way darker than my body. So when I first put on the cushion, it did match the outside perimeter of my face. It didn't match the inside. So I had to put the lighter color on the inside, but it was still like really light. Um, I feel like if I had used my normal concealer, it would have made a bigger impact, but I wanted to use the cushions exclusively today. That's not something that I would normally do. That's just something that I did for this video. Like I said, they currently only have six shades and I'm usually an in-between shade. So this was shade three and this is shade four. As you can see, they're really different. I have 
have both of these on my face right now. Lighter one is in the center and the darker one is on the rest of my face. So this would be the shade that I would have to use in the summer and this would be the shade that I have to use in the winter but I feel like this is gonna be way too light for me in the winter. Like I get pretty pale in the winter but I don't think I'm this pale. Maybe I am, maybe I'm gonna eat my words in January, I don't know. But I feel like I'm not this pale, like ever. So because as far as the darker end of the spectrum goes, I'm not very light, but I'm not very dark either, I tend to be an in-between shade. So if you only have six base shades, I'm probably gonna fall somewhere in between. So I really wanted to talk about them, get the word out there, and hopefully their business will be able to expand so that they make more shades. But otherwise, I really, really like this cushion, guys. I really wish that I could just get my shade. But until then, I'm gonna mix the shades, no problem. So of course, the link to the Dr. Geo website will be in the description box below. I encourage you guys to please purchase. If you think that it's your shade, go ahead and purchase it. I'm giving my endorsement right now. This is not an ad. This is just me being passionate because I think that this is absolutely amazing and revolutionary and I really want them to succeed. So uh, link is down below. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you want me to review down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video, which it's gonna be in two seconds. Cause you're just gonna click one of these. <laughs> and don't forget that I love ya so, 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 so much. 